We go to the courthouse and ask, uh, what's this fuss? What's up? Nice bike. Huffy? H Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. Okay. Well, that was useless. Doop, 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 doop. Man, 1930s sucked. I don't need to go in there anymore. For being logically cohesive. Alright, uh. Maybe we can talk to Doc. Maybe he knows more about this alcohol stuff than I do. Let's go play in traffic. Alright, oh, other way. Can I actually go into the police station? Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram. Okay. <sighs> Alright, uh, doop 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 doo. Psst, Doc. Your younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. Your younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Oh, that could be a problem. Oh. Problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage. I can't skip this. And alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was <sighs> a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. Talked about all these. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. Okay, I can't go down there anymore. Can I tape record him banging on the thing? Ha ha! All right, there we go. I didn't realize the pipe went over there. I'm observant. At least we got some other stuff done while I was being completely puzzled. Soup. What is it, kid? Soup. I still think the soup needs more flavor. We need a lot of soup. All right, bang the pipe. that soup or no soup, he's not fooling anyone. They're gonna fight. Stop checking out our ass. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all we have to do is to get it from her somehow. 
We gotta send her to a certain charity. But which one? Without her sick Einstein on her. I don't see why she would he would do it again though. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course! Because he was a patent officer just like you! Totally. Oh, well, that's not very useful. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Really? Well, if you're busy... You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Only it matters, but... The farm for unwanted children. No, they've already received their quota for the month. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathered. Oh, there we go. State, and we haven't provided refreshments. Oh, we're just going to get a get bunch of... the generosity of... of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there. Michael. What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Lying? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Oh, okay. We'll just deliver to his house. You won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well. Okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. We'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. Oh, Christ. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Fine. Okay, Screw forget them. the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We ah. No, I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the ah. to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Lies Wait. upon lies. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. I'm, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. He ain't a married man I'm yet. I'm feeling about this. You worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. Is it secret? Is it underground? Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good. <gasps> Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. Not yet, anyway. All right. Now what? Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature. What are the rockets for? If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. How? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct. Oh, this tells us what all the stuff in his uh hydrogen, which must be periodically in the sale the primary distillation barrel. Okay. I should probably be paying attention to this. I'm not sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. 
Oh, hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Any questions? Uh... Hey, Matt? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Oops. Hey, fancy Moses. It's my father. So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Attend to the... What? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It was crank. Too late. The reaction's already started. Something. Over. I'll try to help you out where I can. What? Crank something flakes. Coming, father. Bellows. Father. Don't you father me, child. Uh, no. What kind of pressure I'm under? Crank. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Pressure? This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Don't do it backwards? What did you do? Emmett, who are you okay, let's do it backwards. Let's try that. No one, Father. Oh wait. He, he's saying stuff. Ah! Aha! There we go. You know who invented fire pop? Haha! But you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? That's actually pretty clever. All right, later. We got this. We're gonna get coffee. I have coffee. I made a pop before the show. get back here! Eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Someday you have children and would look what do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. Wow, that's cold. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Okay. Maybe I could just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? This room's too large. We should condense this a bit so I don't have to walk. I'm lazy. Uh, halfway there. Damn it! Keep up the good work. Stop being such a crank! You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Law may be your burning passion, father, but it is not mine. Burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. The Van Brons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to man, Emmett. Come, come, come. Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Oh, I see. Even the dad thing. Spinning in the grave right now. So oh, no both fair. work. Cool. Emmet! Uh, coming, father! I like that they made both parts of the conversation hints, too. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Pressuring me to be something I'm not. The harder you get, the more I know I'm right. Oh. I gotta remember the order. Just pay attention to what I say. Damn it, I'm not I see. You yet. Let him go for a minute, and then. Uh, 
You don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Fire? How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? Speed. By Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Okay. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. That's still really mean. Really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Why are you always bellowing at me? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Food. All right, we're done. We'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Nice vest. Okay, you and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. Is that a ping pong table? Did they have ping pong tables in the 30s? Oh! oh. <laughs> We're good. Eureka! Okay. Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill. So why was it doing that? I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. You're a sucker. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say. Oh. I can't. Huh? Emmett, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Damn it, McFly, you've lied this entire episode. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Aww. This is no time for feels. The throttle at about eight. Thanks, buddy. It's always eight with you. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Let's. Come on, start. Oh, it's got the same sort of vents as the uh, DeLorean. I love it. Oh, that, yeah, this, this doesn't look shady at all. Wait, the paper? Did it not, did it work? Mr. Corleone! What do you want? You're too late! Too late? The doc's not supposed to be... Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! I better go get a oh, great. The police chief. It's never that easy, is it? Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him. How am I going to rescue him now? Rocket pack? Hmm. Bicycle! Came out of this Rockets! Way. Let's do... Catch a ride! Coming, 
And now I understand where the rockets were on there. It's for thrust to the drill to jam it into things harder. Got it. 